Eka kopi, gana kiede. What can we buy with 50 rupees? Pana hai. One watermelon, gana kiede. Uh, gana kiede, eka. Morning, morning YouTube. YouTube! Another beautiful day in Sri Lanka. And uh, we just had a lovely morning. I got my rods with me and I got this coconut, which means I didn't get any fish, but I did find a coconut. And uh, we had a great time on the other side messing about. Did a little swimming over here. So if you've not seen that episode, check it out. And in today's vlog, we're doing the one pound challenge. Which means that we've got to go the whole day eating on only one pound per head. So that's about 400 rupees roughly yeah. give or take how are you feeling about it uh, i'm very nervous because i love food and i'm always hungry so <laughs> i'm not sure and also we're gonna have to we're probably gonna have to eat more local how are you feeling about this well can i eat this coconut um no because you didn't pay for it uh. so you can only eat with one pound today <laughs> Uh, I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Not too bad right now because I'm not hungry, but we'll see how the day goes. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. We're thinking of getting one coconut to share. We usually have a stock of coconuts and we just open one every morning, one each. And we drink the water and then if we're lucky, if there's a bit of jelly in there, we eat it as well. So, but one coconut is, how much is one coconut? Well, a king coconut, the orange one, is 100 rupees. The green one is 80 rupees. But there's a catch. Mm -hmm. We're tourists mm -hmm. and we like oh, to yeah. add a little extra on there. Uh, usually, well, actually, I was going to say <laughs> usually I don't mind. Nah, I do mind. I always mind. But today we cannot have that little extra added on because that 20 rupees might make the difference of having a meal later tonight or not. So I'm <laughs> thinking we're going to try and get a karumba which is the green coconut for 80 rupees. Yeah. Worst case scenario, we get a nice big uh, king coconut for 100, which will leave us with 75 pence each for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. No. Oh yeah, so... No, that's not let's right. Let's see if we that's can not try. Right. It just depends how much we're gonna pay for the coconut. No, no, let me try and take that scene again, right? So, one king coconut is 100 rupees that's 25 pence so if we put two on it half and half that means we're spending 12.5 pence each for breakfast yeah but it won't just be a coconut for breakfast i'm thinking of maybe going to keels or food city and try and see how much of the fruits Keels and Food City, for reference, is the local supermarkets. It's like the Sri Lankan version of Tesco or Sainsbury's. See, what's yeah. interesting is already this morning waking up and knew I was going into this challenge, and my perspective changed, and I found two coconuts. I can guarantee if I wasn't undertaking this challenge, I wouldn't have noticed them. Even though we're not going to have them, these don't count. I'm going to have to save them for tomorrow. It's interesting how you know, your perspective changes when you've not got much dough. And by the way, we forgot to mention, but water is allowed. So this is not included in the challenge for health, health and safety, safety purposes. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to sell my coconuts. Why? 150 rupees each. I'm going to turn my 400 for the day into 700. Oh, oh, oh. I can see up on high. 400 rupees for the whole day, remember, I told you. Right, so what are we doing now? So we noticed that people are drinking what's called Moringa soup. It's like a medicine drink. It's very healthy for you. And uh, it's actually really delicious as well. But I thought rather than a coconut, the moringa soup might fill us a little more. It's a bit more filling. So let's check the soup. Sobode sana gueva. Come then. Dai. Gana kiede? Eka? Siye. Siye. Yeah. It's a hundred. 
Can we get one? Is it a full glass like this? Full glass. Oh, so do we have to actually sit here and drink? Yeah. Shall we come back later? No, no, it doesn't. It's not open later. It'll, I think we get it now. We drink half a glass each and we're done for breakfast. 100, so it's 50 rupees each. Same as a coconut. Okay. Should we do it? What's the taste? Are you willing to like risk your 100? Because I might not like it. Then I'll drink it if you don't. Yeah, okay. But it will. Oh, that means I've got to pay for the whole 100 myself. Yeah. But that's only if I don't like it, because I just don't know what the taste like. Can she taste? Chuti chuti. Just taste. Tika tika. Oh, yeah. yeah, YouTube video. Tika tika. I don't speak. Single up for one. Oh, it looks like looks like she's got a glass of it. She didn't want to face on video. No. Right, I'm going to try. Mama on it. On it. No, no. Just one. It's all right. All right. Yeah, it tastes like veggies. Yeah, it's really healthy. Really good mm. for you. Mm. Is it jaggery? Huh? Jaggery? I eat yeah. chicken. Yeah. It's yeah. like sugar, it's jaggery in it. Okay, so we got a piece of jaggery with it. No, no, you have it with your soup. Put okay. it in your mouth and drink the soup and keep the... On it and you drink your half. Yeah. Leave me a good half, you. <laughs> yeah, I need half of that sugar. That's my calories for the day. How is it? Do you like it? Um, I wouldn't say I love it. But I don't dislike it. Okay. It tastes like um, it tastes like a soup, but it's not too salty. It's not too spicy or anything. It's not spicy at all. So it's quite it's quite nice. It's it the Goldilocks good. soup. It feels good. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. I love it. I feel like I'm healthy. Oh, it's really hot. I didn't expect it to be so hot. I think it's because it's fresh. I got my half of the sugar there. I made sure she didn't come me out of that. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Bit of rice in there as well. Is it? Sugar. Of course. Okay, so that's one hundred. That's the first hundred spent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank well, you. Well, it's just about food because today we're doing a video about eating for four hundred rupees, right? Yeah. So now we have three hundred and fifty rupees left for me to eat for the rest of the day. Yeah. What do you What do you think I should eat? What's the cheapest food I can eat for today in Sri Lanka? Yeah, you can go the you want cheap price. You yeah. can go to the Dharga Town. Dharga Town? Yeah, they yeah. have a cheap price uh, in the roti and yeah. curry. Like short a, eats, short wadi. Eats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And on average, how much do you do you think you spend on food every day to eat? How one much day. do you think it costs you in one day? Uh, Depend by the uh, food. Maybe chicken, maybe fish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what's an average? The, uh, average? Uh, maybe. 1,000. 1,000. Yeah, 1,000. Wow. wow. So rare. Yeah. So we really are on a big challenge. <laughs> we are on a big yeah. challenge. Okay, thank you, Rudesh. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Tuti. I'll call you later if we need a tuk tuk. Lunch time. We're going for lunch. Julie's done a bit of research, and that, what I thought was called Moringa, was actually called Kola Kanda. Completely yeah. different soup. Yeah, so I found on the internet it's called uh, Sri Lankan Traditional Breakfast Kola Kanda. It's actually a green porridge. It says ancient Sri Lankans used to have a kolakanda empty stomach in the morning before having any solid food. It's a great way to avoid eating gluten products and start having something healthy. So I think we started the day with an ancient very breakfast, well. yeah. Now we have three three hundred and fifty rupees each and it's only midday.
So we've decided to come here to the Bento to Teapot for some lunch. It's a local restaurant. It has some of the best prices in town and some of the best food in town. So let's see what we can do with 350 rupees each. Right, so let's have a look. Yeah. How much is one roti? Roti? Yeah. Roti and uh, roti portion. Two roti and a little bit and curry and 600 rupees. 600? Yes. Ah, that's a bit of How much is one plain roti? One plain roti, no, here no, only portions. Ah, only portions. Yeah, one plain roti is a uh, tourist people, I mean, one plain roti. Coconut, again, coconut roti, one plain roti is cooking timing. More. It's not worth the time. No, no, yeah. perfect. Yeah, okay. Holiday, uh, okay. I see. So we're in trouble here. We're gonna have to figure something out. So next up, we're seeing what's cooking. As the working man, he's cooking some paratha. Oh yeah. wow, they're fresh. They look good, those. Yeah, yeah mate. Yeah. That's probably what we could have. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the mix. They're the little packets there. And then I wonder how he cooks them in the pan. Oh, we're about to find out. I can't get a kid. What did you say? 120. 120 for one of those. So I think that's our best bet. Let's see what else is in here. We've got some samosas. And the rotis aren't for sale. There's one little leg thingy there. I think it's gonna have to be two plain, no, two parata. But there's also some other little eats in there. So let's go and have a look at that. <laughs> so these are the parata, 120. Here we've got plain roti and more plain roti, okay. Under there there's something. Ah. There's a samosa down there, so we see how much that costs. That one has that. Is this the same that he's making? That's what he's making, yeah. We ended up getting these things. These smell really good, look really good. I'm starving right now, can't wait to eat it. And they were 100 each. Now Julie got confused and thought they were 50 each. So she got herself two, <laughs> and I got one. Which means I still have... 250. 250 to spend. And I only have 150 for the rest of the day. For the rest of the day. For you know. But at least I have that's two. That's hopefully good. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. That's really nice. I decided that I'm going to keep this one for dinner time. And it's actually quite filling, so and I feel, feel okay now, like. And I feel cheated because um, there was something I can't eat in my. I had to take that <laughs> out. I gotta go and get two rupees back. Watch out! Oh, that looks so good. That's what we need right now. Big plates of curry. What? Oh, looking good. Nice T-shirt. I got my dinner. Yeah. Uh, eka kopi gana kiede? Kopi. Kopi eka? Kie 100 for a coffee. Uh, we're gonna wait. Pass it. C? 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 What? 100. So it's 100 for a tea, 100 for a. Anything costs 50 rupees? What? What can we buy with 50 rupees? Panahai. Panahai tea, no? Makata. Oh. Black tea. Black tea. Black tea. See, is it 40 tea. or 50? 50. Okay. Yeah. 50 for a black tea. Thank right. You. That's good to know for later. If we need to, we can come back and have a pick me up a little black tea. 50 rupees. <laughs> Hi. So I'm in Food City right now because I'm still very hungry. So I came to see if I could find any kind of dessert, maybe a fruit or something very cheap that I could buy. And I wanted to get one of these at home. 266 rupees. So I'm 
not gonna have an apple, unfortunately. So I couldn't buy apple, so I ended up buying an ice lolly for 40 rupees. And now I only have 110. And it's so hot today. I only got 110 rupees in my pocket. I have no idea how I'm going to survive today. But I've got my dinner, which is great. So to pass a very hungry day in Sri Lanka, we decided it was wise to head 20 miles inland to a place like a natural waterfall area, well known as the natural pools. Another place that I can highly recommend if you're in Southwest Sri Lanka, visit this place. I'm about to show you why. Let's go. Let's go. Natural pools are in full swing today. It's uh, very populated. There's a lot of people here because it's um, a public holiday. I'm going to go in, have a little swim. Joel is already in there. And then uh, there's that rock to jump off next. What's going on? Where did you get that? Well, basically, <laughs> we told a tuk tuk driver we were doing the 400 rupee challenge and he didn't quite understand and he thought we had no dough. So we bought <laughs> loads of fruit for us and, you know, we can't say no. We can't say no. Yeah, we're just going to have a little cheese just because we're starving. And it's free. And it's free. So. He found it, he made his way to that bit of pineapple. He's just took it in the tree, he's just stranding that little bit of pineapple. Look at him go. Oh, he's that cute him, I like him. So I found a pool with those fish in that eat the skin off your feet and there's loads of them and they're eating the hell out of my feet. Check this out. There's a right party going on here today. Let's go and see the waterfall. This is the top of the waterfall. It looks beautiful. Such a gorgeous place. There. I'm gonna jump from there. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that looks very high all of a sudden. No problem. I wanna jump from there. Is there okay? One, two, three, huh? Here, come. Like this. Stay foot up. You stay foot up. Yeah. yeah.
Right? Here goes nothing! Let's go! Cheeky smoking area over here. What's Julie up to? Ah, she's got a slice of watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Life's good. Life's good. <laughs> so I'm just here with my man Sajan, yeah. a new friend of mine. He came to say hello and see what was going on. Right. He works in the Maldives. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And he'd come to Sri Lanka for ten days to see his family. He's here the natural pools. You got your family here, right? Yeah, family. So you wouldn't believe this, you'd think we're like lying or something, but I swear it's the truth, yeah? We just come here and we're sort of ushered into these chairs and all of a sudden we've got a plate in front of us. So it looks like, <laughs> it looks like we're having something to eat. Let's see what happens next. We're in a beautiful area, got that river behind us. That's connecting to the waterfall we've just been to. We didn't order food, just to... Right, we didn't order any food, so we really don't know what's going to happen Yeah, here. and it's going to be awkward when I pull out my 250 rupees for the day and you and pull out your 110. 110. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the current situation right now, but it might be a sort of donations kind of deal. If that's the case, then we might be able to stay in budget here. We'll be a bit <laughs> cheeky, a bit, bit downright rude but we might be able to stay within the challenge, we'll see. So we got some manioc, manioc some, some coconut, coconut, and chili sambal. There you have it. And apparently it's all grown here in the area, you know, it's not from the shops or anything like that. He grew up in the garden. Buon appetito. Now I help myself to a bit of this grated coconut here. 
bang right on top. Yeah. And a nice bit of chilli to wash it all down. Is and remind me in... Salty? There we go. One pound challenge, people. Got some monkeys having an argument in the trees over there. Can't see them, but I can hear them. Okay, so as I suspected, it's um, like a charity thing, like we give what we want. Uh, so it's only right that me and Julie are going to give up the last of our money now from the challenge. And uh, that's us for the day. But to be fair, I got a much fuller stomach than I thought I would. Full of manioc. Who can, who can ask for more than that? Yeah. No, 250 and I've got 110. So, I've got 250 left. That's going on the table. And Julie's got 110 left, but we don't have a 10 rupee piece, so it's gonna be a 20. And that's on the table. That's our money finished for today. My conclusion is, you can eat for one pound a day in Sri Lanka, but you're gonna lose weight if you do it <laughs> for a long time. Yeah. And you're probably gonna have to go a bit hungry. You're gonna have to eat like a bird, but you can definitely survive on a pound a day. It's possible. On a survival mode, you can do it. But if you expect to like get proper meals and eat like, you know, proper eat here, I think one pound is not enough. I think no. because of the, the prices, inflation. Yeah. The inflation, yes. Yeah. It's it's very difficult because we've been asking the locals and they said that even they eat for some people just eat for a thousand a day. Well, a thousand, that's probably food in a family of four. So they are actually living. If you divide a thousand by four, what do you mm -hmm. get? Yeah, but then they cook as well. But yeah, so they're buying bulk rice. it's not like someone coming rice. here and expecting to get, you know, like ready meals. For yeah, yeah, you're not eating street food and you're not eating in restaurants. But for yeah. 400, you can probably eat every day if you buy bulk rice, chicken, things like that and you cook it in the home, it's probably a lot more feasible than what we tried to do. Um, I was also talking to Priantha, the tuk-tuk driver, and he was saying that just three years ago you could get a watermelon for 40, 50, 60 rupees. Now it's, how much Priantha? One watermelon, gana kiede, den? Uh, normally 300, 250, 300. Yeah. 300, 350 rupees, so you can see how you know, the economic situation after COVID and whatever else has really affected Sri Lanka as it has affected the whole world and prices are, are sky high. Personally, I'm a little bit disappointed on how it went. I think we could have done a better job. And I yeah. think I think we're going to give it another shot in the future for sure. Definitely, but yeah. I have some cool ideas for upcoming vlogs. I'm not going to drop them right now. Don't say it. Yeah. <laughs> Catch us in the next one. Remember to like, subscribe. Peace. Peace. So here's, here's a little nosy inside the kitchen. That's the kitchen there. I just noticed and they have these cool steps down to the river there. I love that. That's really nice. And if we step into the kitchen, you can see we've got an open fire here. We're cooking on an open fire. There's no gas plumbing or anything. I wonder what's in that pot. I'm trying to figure it out. Mokata? No, no. Plenty. Plain tea. Ah, tea. Very nice, yeah. So you're making some plain tea. Yeah. And what? Oh, and that's chili paste. Oh, that was very tasty. This chili, Godak Rasai. Godak Serta. Ah, Serta. Oh, Godak. <laughs> and the coconuts over this way. Oh, there he's got his little coconut grinder, his hand grinder. Coconut. Yeah, I see. Wow. And that's the coconut, and that's how it was made. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, Mama. Good night. Good night. So yeah. Okay, goodbye. So, I just wanted to point out this little decoration on the floor. I thought it was really nice that it's made with a tyre and they filled it in with stones. It's like a natural floor mat. I think that's cool. Love it. Hi, Hello, come with
Good, good. 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 <laughs> oh.